The Golf Academy of America was started in 1974 out in San Diego. It grew and uh, schools were expanded to Phoenix, Orlando, Myrtle Beach, and most recently Dallas. Our school here has been uh, in this location for the last 10 years. We have around 10,000 graduates uh, from the program since its inception. Uh, in Myrtle Beach, we're the largest of the schools. Uh, we have about 375 students this fall. Uh, we have a full-time staff of uh, 34 people here. We've got 14 PGA golf professionals, and our mission is to train young men and women to uh, be successful in the business of golf. Most of our graduates come out of here and go to work at green grass golf shops as assistant golf professionals or teaching professionals, but we do have some who go to uh, off-course golf operations like Dick's Sporting Goods or PGA Tour Superstores. And, um, it's been a very good program, very successful, uh, very high graduation rate, very high placement rates, so a very good program. It's a 16-month program. There are uh, four semesters. We have been working with them normally during their third and fourth semesters to prepare them to get a job in the field. We uh, do a lot of resume critiquing, mock interviews, and then we help them with contacts to um, find jobs. Well, here in uh, Myrtle Beach, on Mondays and Tuesdays, there's classes in the morning from 7 to 11, and then uh, golf, tournament golf is Monday afternoon. Tournament golf is a class. Uh, the students are paired and play with students of similar abilities, and they can move up and down depending on how they're playing. Tuesday, we have classes from 7 to 11 again, and Tuesday afternoon is open play golf. Uh, students can pair up with their buddies and uh, go play a variety of courses. We normally have nine or ten courses for tournament golf on Monday afternoons and another nine or ten courses for open play on Tuesday afternoons. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are full academic days. Uh, classes run from 8 a.m. to about 5 p.m. those days. Travis, you know, used this putter and won it. And it, as soon as the, the RNA took a look at it, they banned it and thought it was, he had some kind of a advantage with a center shafted putter. History of golf is one of the classes. We have a career services class um, where we work with the students trying to get them ready for the, their careers out in the field. Uh, we have rules one, rules two, advanced rules, tournament operations. We have uh, an accounting class, um, several business related classes, microcomputers, business law, and all those kind of courses, the accounting class, they're all tied into golf. We have a food and beverage class. Uh, many golf operations, food and beverage is an integral part of the club's function. Um, just, uh, you know, anything related to golf. We're big on um, equipment for the students. We've got uh, a 2,000 square foot Southwest Greens putting surface for them to work on their putting. There's an indoor bunker where they can work on their bunker play. We have three uh, simulators that the students can hit in, V1 simulators. We have TrackMan, uh, Sam Putt Lab, pretty much something for everybody. If you're into uh, gizmos and technology, we've got it here for you. We also have a club repair lab. Students do re-gripping, re-shafting. They'll actually make a golf club while they're here. The graduates, when they complete the 16-month program, come out with an associate's degree in golf complex and operations management, and um, some of our students elect to go on to uh, pursue a four-year degree. Um, we have a two-plus-two program in our company. They can go on to uh, any Virginia college, which our company also owns, and all the uh, credits are transferable, and they can work towards their four-year degree. We have a golf management program, which would be a uh, bachelor's degree. So some of the students elect to do that. Uh, most, however, once they finish the program, they go out and get jobs in the, in the industry.